Salutations, YouTube land. It is I, once again, here to share with you a video. So, cut my finger. Uh, making a uh, candle. Um, and it was an in it was intentional. So, just so you know, this was not an accident. Um, it was intentional. Um, but it was uh, to put my magical energy into it um, and have it be a sacrifice to the spirits. Um, it is going to be a way that I will be able to uh, charge my crystals a way that I will be able to uh, hold my crystals, a way that I will be able to uh, charge my crystals, hold my crystals, a way that I will be able to uh, connect more with spirit um, and with source. Um, when I say source, I mean the general being of deity. <clears throat> because as most Wiccans believe, um, there is... God is a masculine energy. Goddess is a mas is a uh, female or uh, feminine energy. But I believe also that there is energy. Um, and it's what you take out of it, and that is what I call source. Um, where when you die, you, your body, leave, your soul leaves your body and goes to source to be, uh, redistributed or reincarnated into another being. Um, so that is that. Um, so, that is that. Um, after doing a bit of research on Dipnon, as I have been mispronouncing it as Deepnon, it is actually Dipnon. D I E P O N O. No, I'm wrong. Uh, D I E P N O N. Dipnon. I've been mispronouncing it, uh, and I do apologize to you, those of you who have watched my videos before. I want to apologize to that because that was a mistake. So, dive none. Um, I researched it a little bit more on uh, Wikipedia land and found that. Um, Dipnon was, is, a, um, way for, um, a celebration every month, not just this month, not just Hecate's month, but every month is celebrated to honor Hakate. What the fudge? My pipe is just not working with me at all, and it's really annoying me. It just really annoys me because I'm trying to smoke and I can't.
sorry I'm trying to clean my pipe while you guys are watching me. It's kind of annoying and it's kind of bothersome to me too. I do uh, blah, blah. I do apologize. It's really, really annoying that I have to do this. But hey, at least you know how I clean a pipe now. going to have to clean out this part of the pipe now, the stem of the pipe. So, I'm going to just run this thing through and we get all of that gross disgusting sludge. Gross and disgusting. That's what's clogging it up. I think this is the nicotine stuck inside. So, There. Now it's all clean and ready to go. So, take it, put it back together, and then you can smoke it. So, anywho, I apologize for making this video about uh, my pipe and cleaning it. I didn't mean to. Um, so I'm going to apologize by making the video a lot longer about stuff. Um, so, anyway. Uh, uh, what I was talking about. I was talking about what I found in uh, Deep Down. Right. Um, um, there is a festival. Uh, there, there's Deep Down, which is the dark, the new moon. Um, then there is uh, Melanon, I believe is what it's called. Menon or something like that. Um, which is the Sliver, the sliver moon, the uh, waning, the waning crescent. I think it's the waning crescent. Yeah. So, waning crescent. Um, and it's basically the same thing as Deep Nun, except, um, it is a celebration after Deep Nun. Basically the same thing. So. <coughs> Traditionally, Deep Nun is celebrated on the new moon of the month. Every new moon of the month. Um, so every last new moon of the month, should I say. 
So, um, next month there will be one deep non, um, and one millinon, um, and so forth and so on. So, I'm still in breeding deep non and millinon, um, every month, and I will be doing that to honor Hakate again and again and again, and it will be awesome. I'm so happy that it's every month. I really am, because I get to honor Hakate and give her things even more now, and it's amazing. It's just so cool. Um, anywho's, um, let me see. I will be hoping to get, I mailed out that letter to, uh, the Department of Health and Human Services. Um, so they will be starting to look at my medical records and all my stuff. Um, and determining whether or not I'm eligible for benefits. And, uh, yeah. So, that's that. Then, um, today, um, my grandmother, somehow, I wonder, I wonder how, found out about, uh, me, um, wanting a Ouija board. And she was like, I know how to die in this house. And I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, it's not evil. It really isn't. Um, and I explained to her, I said, I'm, I'm not using it to contact Satan. It is not of Satan. And she's like, it's of Satan. The only thing you can contact on that board is Satan and his evildoers. And I'm like, okay. Okay, Grandma. Show me me. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um... I'm thinking, because what she said was, I don't want it in my house, not, I don't want it on my property. So, what I think I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my Ouija board and my witchy materials and bringing them to the, the fort. Um, and I will be doing all my stuff at the fort, or a little shack that we have in a, the woods back in our backyard. It's, there's a little pathway, goes across the creek, and it's really pretty, and it's a little fort, and, and I'm a little tall for it because I have to crouch over and not hit my head. So I look like a little old lady stirring a cauldron. <laughs> yeah, fun. So yeah. I talked about that with her, with the counselor. Jane Morgan call, called, and then she came, and I talked to her about Deep Non. Uh, bleh, yeah, Deep Non. I have to get used to calling it Deep Non. So I talked to her about Deep Non. Talked to her about. Uh, talked to her about my struggles with my family, because most of my family's like. That's stupid, that's retarded, that's dumb. Uh, that's non-existent, I don't believe, I don't believe in that, that's not of God, I don't believe that, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm like, great. I'm alone. On the road again. Just alone, all on the road again. Yeah, no. Doesn't work. Oh well, I tried. Hmm. Anyway. So, um, what's up with you guys? Leave me down in the comments below how you feel, how you are doing, and uh, what everything's going on. If you have some advice for me about my uh, current issue, please do give me advice. That would be very handy. Um, don't give me keep on trucking or equivalents of that because I know that I need more than just keep on trucking or. It's equivalent. I need actual advice on how to combat Christianity. Please. Please. 
I beg of you. Please. Let me write. All your love. All your love to me, all my love to you. All my love. Um, let's see. I don't want to end the video. I don't. I really don't. Um, let's see. What else can I talk to you guys about? Oh, my feather pen died. Sadly and tragically, my feather pen died. So, I'll be taking out another pen, taking out the, uh, ink, ink canister, and, uh, I will be shoving it in there, cutting it, shoving it in there, and hopefully having a working feather pen again. Because feather pens are cool, and I like them, and they're cool to make, and they're cool to use, and it's just nice. I like it. It's just something that I just, I perceive as cool, uh, I perceive as interesting, I perceive as, um, integrity rising, I suppose. I don't know. Ego rising. I don't know. I just like it. It's cool. It's not used often, so it's cool. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh. I, um, looked up some stuff that I might want to buy. Um, I looked up some interesting ideas for sacrifices for Dipanon. Um, and I, uh, found that, um, I didn't say this yet, did I? Traditionally, things that are sacrificed to Hakate during Daipnon are eggs, garlic, leeks, things that you want to leave out of your life um, uh, in that were used in the month, like stubs of candles, um, incense, ash, sage ash, what have you. So. I have dumped, I have a little pencil box, not a little pencil box, a normal size pencil box, and I have dumped, um, candle, uh, stubs in there, I have dumped, uh, ashes of incense in there, that still hold positive, um, negative, uh, positive energies, um, I took a few sticks from the, uh, not actual, not the full uh, candle, not the full uh, incense stick, but the little wooden end of an incense stick. Stuck it in there, a couple of them. Um, used to say Jash in there and uh, call it good. Um, threw that in there. Uh, collected a little bit of my blood when I cut myself in a little tiny bottle. It's not full at all, it's a couple of drops and uh put it in a little bottle cap the bottle and put the bottle in there so i'll have some blood sacrifice to hakate uh to respect her darker side of magic um like necromancy and so forth um not that she requires it but that just something that i thought she might like she might see oh that's cool you're giving me blood i don't like i usually don't get blood so she might favor that and say that's cool. Um, what else did I give her? Um, put something else in there too. Oh, um, some holy water. I got a little bit of a little plastic bottle of holy water. A little. Pl I put. I got a little plastic bottle. Put some holy water in it and then put put that in my bag. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna be sacrificing that to her. Um, as I said, I'm going to be going to the Triple Crossroads, uh, down the road a little bit here, and I will be worshipping Hakate there. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, because I don't want people messing with the altar, is I'm going to take the altar down, uh, after I'm done, 
and bring it back to my house. And then tomorrow, uh, or the day after, I will, and, and the day is continuing, I will uh, take my altar, my that altar down to the place I will worship her for the day. Then I will go and uh, and I will worship her um, and do my sacrifices and do the feast and all that stuff. Um, I have a quarter loaf of bread that I have received. Um, it went dry and hard and rocky and just gross. Um, it can be cut. It can be eaten. It's just not as preferable. It's not fresh. Um, and, it, and it's homemade. So I took that. And for now, I put it on her altar as a sacrifice to her. But I'm going to take the offering dish that I have right now on her altar. And I'm going to be uh, sacrificing everything that's on her offering dish on her altar right now. And I'm going to be putting it in as a feast to her. Um, as well as taking the jar of fermenting and rotting uh, clips of uh, onion leaves and uh, giving that as a sacrifice to her. Um, so the feast is going to be the platter of food. The sacrifice, rather than killing an animal, is going to be the rotting onion root leaves. So. That is that. Um, let's see. Hmm. After I'm done with the ritual, um, I'll end it around, uh, I'll wake up at 12, get myself ready for the ritual, clean my body, cleanse my body, um, ask, Heka, ask, ask Hekate to present herself to me, do a tarot reading for the day, pack everything up, go do the ritual, go do Deep Non, uh, Deep Non, Type Non. But yeah, I still have to get used to it. Get used to that, so go to type none. Um, perform it until... Ah... Uh, four. Uh, go to town. Buy some Baileys and poppy seeds. Um, which I found out, by the way, my EUD card will reload it automatically at the 5th of every month. So that's good. Um, then I will, um go to the common area of Newport and I will um, perform a few rites, a few rituals there and see if I can attract people, get a few clients, get some money, uh, selling them spells, performing spells for them and so forth and uh, stuff like that. So That is that. Um, mm -hmm. Thinking of other things that I want to talk to you guys about. I'm sorry. Um, I think that it'll be good to take my other candles with me. I'm not going to use them in the ritual of Dipnon, 
but I will take them with me so that I can use those candles if I need to um, during my time at New Court in the common area, possibly selling spells. Um, so that is that. Um, bring my tarot deck with me. Um, bring my pendulum with me. Um, because I use my pendulum and my tarot deck more often than not. Um, I don't know. No clue. Um, still debating going to Newport and selling spells in my head. I really am. Because this is supposed to be a holy day. I'm not supposed to be a holy day. And then Melanon, you're not supposed to do anything. You're supposed to just worship Hakate. And then go home and relax and celebrate in the month that is to come. So. I have no clue. No clue at all what I'm going to be doing. Um, I just know that my family doesn't support me in any of it. So. And I'm not saying that they don't have good reason, because it's new to them, and they're not used to it, so they do have good reason for it. Um, they are fellow, fellow, not fellow, they have followers, God, Jehovah, um, and, well, I'm not any longer. I have been opened to the truth of what is so or at least what I perceive to be the truth of what is so I don't know I just don't know but anyway give me likes comments subscriptions down below please um if you have not subscribed to my channel please do i'm working on getting 30 subscribers if i get to 30 subscriptions i will do a special video um i will buy a pipe i will buy tobacco a special tobacco not just any old tobacco i'll buy like a uh, frog morton cellar which i have not tried yet and i will uh try to uh do that um before i leave though something else that my grandmother told me is that you know now that you're not celebrating um christian holidays you can't celebrate christmas you know that right and i'm like yeah i knew that well i wasn't planning on it i was planning on celebrating christmas with you guys i really was and she's like well you can't because that's not a wicked holiday or whatever and i'm like okay i won't celebrate christmas then i'll celebrate yule Oh no, it's the same thing. No, it's not. Christmas celebrates the birth of Jesus. Yule or whatever, it doesn't. And I'm like, okay. And so I'm not allowed to celebrate Christmas. No. Okay. I just will lock myself up in my room then. What am I supposed to do? Sit up in my room all Christmas Eve, all Christmas Day? And not celebrate Christmas with you guys. I'm not supposed to be with my family. Like, I don't get the logic behind her comment. Her comments, plural. Um, it just doesn't make sense. So, give me advice, please. Give me advice. So, until next time, I hope to see you all later, guys. Love you all. Bye.